everybody, Deep Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master. I'm here with Dr. Kyle Stanley. Hey, everybody. Everybody knows Dr. Kyle. Uh, young, promising, talented, um, handsome too. And uh, we just had dinner. I visited his office and uh, we talked about so many things uh, during our dinner. We talked about uh, just between eating sushi and, uh, and mochi. Uh, we talked about guided surgery and uh, lip repositioning and actually the opposite of lip repositioning which is um, uh, creating some more incisor that just display. Uh, can, can you talk a little bit about uh, the importance of the lip or? Yeah, so. Is this, tell me about it. Um, we're, we're introducing a new procedure called the lip lift where we are incorporating plastic surgery with dentistry. So we're, not only can you go up with the lip, you can go down with the lip. So crown lengthening, um, lip repositioning that, that Steve talks about, but now we're going the other way and incorporating plastic surgery into dentistry. So, so doing surgery on the lip, because you know, we, you know I, I just actually presented at, uh, guide, at the guide symposium mm -hmm. and I actually showed a 10 year follow up on the lip repositioning, which basically showed that it relapses. So the idea behind uh, going the other way around is what? Making the patient look younger? Yeah, we want the patient to have a shorter philtrum so that they look mm -hmm. younger. They don't have that long philtrum that we see with a lot of our patients. They show more incisal edge display at rest and they have a better, a better final outcome no matter what you're doing, whether it's a denture, implant, bonding, whatever. Okay, so that, that, uh, I mean, that's the first time I heard about it after uh, almost 20 years of practicing dentistry. Um, How did you come up with this idea? I started seeing people, mostly women in our culture, that are perceived as being beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I started looking at their lips. They all had the same mouth. And then I okay. wanted to see, well, can we do that in dentistry? Can we bring the lip to the correct position before we start thinking about where the teeth should be? And I found this procedure in plastic surgery articles and started working with plastic surgeons and now uh, we're doing it in our practice. Okay, that's amazing. And I'm, I look forward to, to reading the article when it comes out uh, hopefully this year. Yeah. Uh, now, Kyle, you, you're also very involved with, uh, you know, you, I mean, I admire you because you do things from a full mouth rehab on implants yes. to the least invasive mini uh, onlay uh, bonded porcelain restoration, right. uh, Manier <laughs> style. So how does it work, you know, to do all these extreme uh, procedures? How yeah. does it work? Um, you know, I wanted to be able to do, to help my patients in multiple mm -hmm. different ways. I wanted to be able to understand the surgical aspect, understand the restorative aspect, and really I just started um, hanging on the coattails of my mentors. Okay. You know, it was, That's important. It started out with Dr. Manier, Dr. Pascal Manier, and I learned biomimetic dentistry. And then he that's said- a, That's at USC, US, USC at graduate. USC, yes. And I did the aesthetic residency with him. Okay. And then he said, do you know Sasha Jovanovic? And I said, sure. well, of course, I've read all of his articles, but I don't know him personally. And he said, you, you need to meet Sasha. So then I started working with Sasha, and that was five years ago. And then, you know, just recently, um, I, I hooked up with Christian Coachman. And so I, I, I see all these guys that I've admired for so long, and I, mm. I try to put everything that I've learned from them together. So, so this is what's going to happen, Kyle. As you learn from all these mentors, and you perfect your techniques, and you do the amazing job that you do, um, you're going to start, and you are already starting to mentor other dentists. Yeah. And you're going to make a, a big difference, not, for your, not only for your patients, but also for a lot of dentists uh, uh, in the world that see your work and just want to see how, you know, how to do that so they'll come yeah. to this place and learn from you. Uh, Kyle, t tell me one, more, one thing. Uh, you're a general dentist. I am. Okay, I'm a so, dentist. So, so technically I call you a super dentist. <laughs> yeah. what, what, does it take, what does it take to be a super dentist, meaning to to not only do the basic stuff we learned in dental school, the drill and fill, the boring, uh, mundane, and antiquated procedures. What does it take for a general dentist just starting out a couple of years to really get to the top level that you are right now? What, what does it take? Um, well, thank you for that compliment. And I think that it takes passion. You know, mm. I, I see the passion in my mentors and that made me so passionate mm. about dentistry. So like I learned from you as one of my other mentors okay. about guided surgery. Okay. About five years ago we had a dinner and you explained guided surgery to me, okay. why you do it. And ever since then I understood that it was better for my patients and I was passionate about doing the best that I, that I could. 
whether it was very good or not. It was the best that it I could do. It was very good. No, it's it was very, the best it's very that good. I could do. Okay. So that's, I think that was it. It was so, the passion. So it takes passion, it takes education. And what's next for you? I mean, you're traveling, you're lecturing all over the world, yeah. you, you're running a beautiful, uh, busy practice here in Hollywood. Uh, Beverly Hills, tell me, what, what's next for you? What's the next uh, mountain? Yeah, um, next for me is more lecturing, is um, my passion of teaching dentists better ways of doing things, articles, we're writing a lot of articles, and um, you know, facial integration, doing everything facially guided, like the DSD protocol, and um, doing it to the best possible way, incorporating full facial aesthetics, not just dentistry, mm -hmm. into our treatment planning. And I think that's, that's it. Okay, so keep up the amazing work, fantastic work, Thank Kyle you. Stanley uh, from Hollywood. Uh, I enjoyed my, um, my sushi. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> me too. Great restaurant. And um, look out for Kyle Stanley, uh, really the next biggest thing in dentistry. Okay, this is Eve Simon from Surgical Master with Dr. Kyle. Thanks a lot, Steve. Great to see you. All right, thanks. See you all the best. Bye, everybody. Bye.